Well, welcome back to the shop here. In this episode, we're going to be doing some uh, medium duty fabrication. We're going to fab up a uh, gooseneck hitch for the uh, 2004 LLY Duramax here because uh, too cheap to buy one and got some materials laying around. So we're going to build one. So uh, stay tuned. I scored this bulldog uh, tip over ball <clears throat> at Tractor Supply. Uh, my buddy Clarence had it, and uh, you know, everybody likes uh, my buddy Clarence. It was dirt cheap, um, about 100 bucks I paid for it. Normally it's pushing 200. And I uh, figured I'd snag that, and then I could snag the rails for it and uh, put them in. But the cheapest I found them was pushing pushing $300 and uh, they're built out of just chintzy chintzy steel I wasn't super impressed so I figured I could do a better job for less money and uh, some spacers there because Chevy couldn't make the frame of this truck straight so we have to use some spacers and then I got a 2 by 2 angle 3 8 thick and I got a piece inch and a half flat bar 3 8 thick that'll go right inside there so we can double it right up and some quarter inch plate for the side plates and uh about $60 worth of 5 8 uh, grade 8 bolts, $40 worth of drill bits. So all said and done, we're we're pushing $300 in this, but the cheapest I found this this whole hitch setup was, you know, $450. So we're still a little bit of money ahead, and, you know, most people would ask, uh, Carnsey, why you do it, man? And uh, as Jenny Gump would say, uh, he doesn't know any better. So stand by, and I'll kind of walk you through what we're doing here, and, uh, Go from there. This is the driver's side plate here. You can see the spacer I got on there. It's just tack welded on there for now. Um, doesn't really need to be structurally welded on there. Just tack welds would be sufficient actually be just because the, the bolts will go through the frame and hold it there. And then I got the three bolts up there. Um, it fits in here. This is gonna be pretty hard to do with one hand. Um, Hang on one second and we'll uh, get it up in there and uh, be right back. And we're back. You can see that'll go, I'll get three bolts in the front right there. I'll get two in the back right there and it goes up in like that all the way to the bottom of the bed. And then the rails will go in the, the two inches up there at the top and go across. So this is the driver's side. Make one for the passenger side. Well, after an entire day's work, this is where we're at here. Used two by two, three eighths angle, inch and a half piece of three eighths flat bar. So that's good and thick there. It's, it's upside down right now. This is the center piece here. These are the rails that go across. This is one of the side plates here. My spacer in the back, three holes in the front, and then uh, bolts through the top like that and I think I might use a piece of that 3 8 bar flat bar that I have and at least just maybe put a little piece on here because it's a little metals a little thin on the top there and that's where all your stress is gonna be um, but that's where we're at I'm gonna wire wheel it down give it a coat of paint because can't fit those in my powder coat oven might powder coat the sides I don't know I haven't decided yet but um, to drill drill some holes the frame of the truck which the frame on this truck drilled pretty hard of course it's double thick back there and doubled a couple holes up there but anyways that's uh where we're at and uh shoot a video of it when it's all in there and it's all put together well, there's the finished product right there um ended up welding another piece of 3 8 flat bar on um, you can see the I have to bend this back down um, but that's where the the cross pieces I'll get underneath and show you the cross pieces here but that's where they bolt and the metal was kind of thin so I went and put that piece of 3 8 or, uh, or excuse me uh, yeah 3 8 flat bar that I put on there and then <clears throat> these bolts the nuts on the back of those bolts were a real pain right in the ass 
I should have made them further back here. It would have been a lot easier, but see my spacer and bolts there. They're all 5 8 grade 8 bolts. Um, we'll get down underneath it. Um, here we are. <clears throat> down underneath it, you can see the cross pieces in the center section there. It's a Bulldog brand. Um, you can see where I welded the where I welded the inch and a half flat bar to the two inch angle um, all the way across. Um, pretty happy with it. I hooked it to my dad's 16 foot dump trailer and drug it up the road. But I haven't really pulled anything heavy with it, but just tested it out. Seems to work okay. Should be happy with it. However, uh, <clears throat> I've got a solid day and a half into building and fitting this and drilled a ridiculous number of holes and uh in hindsight probably should have just bought one but i didn't and it's done and i'm pretty happy with it so anyways thanks for watching um as always uh you know thanks for watching hit the subscribe give me a thumbs up drop me a comment thanks for watching